Warning. This video is made for the ambitious few, who are ready to work long and hard for their goals. If you are looking for proven marketing techniques, Pat Flynn may just be your guy. He has been marketing online since 2007 and was nominated among the 10 leaders who aren't afraid to be transparent by Forbes. His third and latest book is Superfans, and that is exactly what we're going to talk about. How would you feel if you were to reach your hand out to someone and they would just bluntly stare at you and not shake it? Pretty disappointed, right? The same thing happens when someone comments on any of your social media and you don't bother to answer. The person is disappointed and you have just lost a potential superfan. Instead, make sure that you meet every handshake by answering all of your comments. Idea number one is return every handshake. When Pat was at high school, his friends used to play basketball. But because he was very short, they never passed him the ball. When one of them called him to watch him play a basketball tournament, he refused and said that he doesn't want to go because he never touches the ball anyway. On the other hand, if they would let him at least sometimes touch it, he would come and cheer for his friend and do what he could to support him. So it is with your audience. Ask your audience a question that will allow them to show that they know something. or Alternatively, ask them a question that is asking them for their opinion and has no correct answer. Like for example, which vegetable is healthier, broccoli or spinach? In any case, the most important thing is that their opinion will be heard. Idea number two is let them take a shot. Albert and his partner went through the door and sat near a table. When Pat approached him, Albert asked for a glass of water and three lemons. Pat made a note and made sure to serve him the same three lemons the next time he came. Pat was right in the middle of his college days, and he was in the middle of a competition with other waiters, the winner of which was the one who got the largest tip and by doing so, could earn up to $50. The fact that he was paying attention to the small details and caring about his customers helped him take the lead in this competition many times, especially with Albert. Because of Pat's attention to details, Albert ended up asking specifically for Pat to serve him each time he came to their restaurant. Idea number three, is remember the lemons. Suddenly, when she was alone in the office, Ariana collapsed, hit a table on the way down, and broke her cheekbone. When the doctors tried to understand what was wrong with her, they couldn't put a finger on it. She went from doctor to doctor, with no apparent result. Eventually, she was given the diagnosis of burnout, you see, Ariana is the owner of Huffington Post and she was trying to work and take care of her kids at the expense of sleep and health. She has since learned the lesson and even wrote the book The Sleep Revolution for the rest of us not to repeat this mistake. So let us heed her advice. Idea number four is don't burn out. Thank you for watching. Today, I have a question for you. Which one of these marketing books seems most interesting to you and why? Magnetic Marketing by Dan Kennedy, Ask by Ryan Levesque, or YouTube Secrets by Sean Kanak? Let us know in the comments below. Stay awesome and see ya 
improvementers. 